Welcome to our studios, Anand. Hello, Mishwarma. <laughs> so, uh, what made you write this book? Well, I was I was with my dad one time. Me and my dad have discussions all the time about the nature of success and happiness. And one day I asked him, if you could learn from anyone the principles of success and happiness, uh, who would you learn them from? And he said, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay. So, I studied Emerson's works and I found out uh, how how deep of a thinker this man was. He was... On, he was honestly a very special sort of person. I realized these are messages that need to be heard by our youth. And so I dedicated the next year of my life to producing this book. Okay, so the title of the book is Emerson for the Digital Generation. Okay, so it is for today's youth. Yes. It's, what is the message you're giving to today's youth? The message The message is this book is created from 10 of Emerson's greatest essays and it distills their wisdom for the modern world so this is a this is my gift uh, to my fellow youth to teach them the principles of greatness because if you follow the principles of greatness you're guaranteed greatness it is it is you following follow the principles to get you what you want so you follow the principles of emerson is what you're saying what he said and and his philosophy these are all common principles that are seen in all great uh, schools of philosophy schools of success oh, these are all these are all these are a common these are natural law these are principles they're they're not uh, uh, they don't belong to any one person these are all principles that are that are that can be applied by any one of us to achieve uh, unparalleled success and happiness so what what are we talking about here what principles are we talking about can you maybe name a few some of the principles in the book are self reliance compensation self reliance means the ability to Follow one's own path and stay and stay con- confident in one's own path, even when it seems like the whole world is against you. That sort of confidence is seen in every single great person. <laughs> Another one is compensation. It's in essence, it's the law of karma. How do you, it, it, as your actions produce what you you get in life? So these sort of messages are what are what are followed by every single great person, and that that and I'm aim to teach it through this book. Okay, and so uh, what is the current youth like to you? What is your impression like? Uh, it is my belief that never before has there been a time where youth have had so much potential for greatness. I and mean, there's so with the internet and all these things, there's so much potential for a youth to do something great. But never, has, never before have there been an opportunity to be so miserable. I mean, there's 350 million people suffering depression worldwide, and 20 percent of youth, one in five, experience depression on a on a regular basis. So it's very, it's very, it's it's a very, it's very testing times, but. Honestly, I believe if that uh, because we have this potential, if we have the, prin- the knowledge of the principles, then we can all become what we are destined to be, and that is great. Do you think uh, social media now has taken over, right? Obviously, it's taken over the minds, the, yeah. the body, the soul, everything, it's taken over. What do you think about that? W- what kind of a role is social media playing? Uh, uh, Albert you. Einstein once said I fear the day when technology surpasses our human interactions because then we'll have a generation of idiots and that's <laughs> pretty much happening I mean CBC <laughs> recently released something which said that the average teen spends nine hours a day on social media or other types of media that is insane I mean, that's, mo- that's way more time they spend on education so it's not only the young people I think adults too uh, spend a lot of time on social media is that a good thing or bad thing or is that an Emerson style of uh, things philosophy it's not really a good thing because ultimately these things are empty. It, they, they don't really improve you in any way. The only the, the use for them is as a marketing tool. It's a self marketing tool. If you spend nine hours a day on them as a compulsive behavior or something like that, then you're just simply wasting wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. There's some there's far greater things within you, and th- this book aims to teach you the principles so you can express those things and bring your gifts to the world. Okay, so people have those hidden gifts, right? They need to bring it out. And social media, in a way, is preventing the creativity, I guess. It's a distraction. It's simply distracting you from what you want to do. Because I, I always ask my friends, what do you want to do in life? And all of them seem so unsure. Some of them say, I don't know. Some of them say something vague. No one has a clue of what they want to do because they're all distracted by all these things. They don't have, they cannot focus. They cannot, they cannot have a sense of self-awareness and looking at them themselves and ask, what do I want to do? So self-awareness is key? Oh, yes, definitely. That is one of the principles in the book. Okay, self-awareness, self-discovery. Uh, all these things are the most important because most people they don't they don't have a clue about w- their real selves, and that's because they're and that is only exacerbated by the problem of social media because they're distracted from themselves. They're just, they're too focused on the outer social media world instead of what the real world, their real selves. So, uh, how long did it take for you to write this particular book? 
it took about a year a or year? so. Yeah. So before you actually wrote the book, you obviously read Emerson, right? Oh, I had to read like a thousand page book. <laughs> it was it was insane. There's a lot of there's a bi- there's a huge process behind it. it I'm, I'm I'm very proud of it because it, all the hard work paid off. So what did you discover about yourself? Well, I discovered that I like r- writing a lot, and the thing is, I. You learned a lot from it. You learned a yeah. lot from the principles, the philosophy and the principles. Right? Mm-hmm. And I also dis- uh, discovered what I want my legacy to be. My legacy, I want my legacy to be that I become a thinker that is g- so great with respect. I want to be someone like Emerson because his works are quoted. His people write books about him even, uh, even after his death. I want my work to be viewed as in the same way. And that's what I want my legacy to be. Because all of us have some sort of gift to give the world and we all have some legacy to leave. When we make up our mind to have that legacy, then it'll, it'll happen. So that's your... That's your goal. That's your path. Yeah. To to be a thinker like such philosophers, right? Yeah, that is my goal. Okay. So you are also working on another book. I, that's what you just told me, right? Um, what is this book about? The, my second book is going to be called Letters to My Father. It is it, 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 the same way Obama had dreams from my father, and it was letters to his fa- letters from his father on life lessons. I'm going I'm going to do the other way around, and I'm going to write letters for, to my father fr- from. Of myself and oh. teaching him life lessons. Oh, teaching him life lessons. That's what the book is all about. Yes. Are you almost done with it? or? I'm about a, th- a, a little more than a third done. So this so. is how you spend time when you're off school? Are you off school now? Oh, yeah, I'm off school now. And what grade it, are you in now? Uh, grade, I'm going to grade 10 this after the summer. Okay. Wow, 15 years old and uh, writing a second book. Yeah. So uh, have you thought of a third book yet or is that uh, not... In the works, yeah. There are some ideas. There are some There's ideas. Some ideas. Third book. Yeah. So, is it was it so difficult to go through this process, the Emerson uh, for the digital uh, generation? Was it hard to go through the process? I know it took you a year, but was it like doing schoolwork and then uh, doing this on weekends? How was your process there? Schoolwork has never been anything really difficult for me. I mean, it's it's always been quite easy. And besides, I have I have a very I say I, this is also one thing that I uh, intend to say is there's. A, there's a, so th- all information is available anytime, any place. So you can just search it. So I have a my own self learning program, and I'm already taking a lot of uh, things that are uh, far above what we do in a school at a certain age. So basically, I I don't have to really study that much. So I I have all the time in the world to write, write and focus on what I want to do. So did you bring this up to the school? Uh, are they reading it now? Yes, they are. Are they it applying is. it somewhere? <laughs> I hope that's that's the that's the aim. How I, did you introduce this book to your uh, classmates or your teachers or principal of the school? I introduced with the mission that my mission is to have th- th- to to reach one million youth within the next year and teach them the principles of success and happiness so that they can b- become what they ultimately deserve and are destined to be. Which is, all of them have some sort of gift, and when they give that gift to the world, the the rewards for them and the rewards for other people will be infinite have they have they read it in detail some of your classmates my teachers and my uh, my teachers and my classmates i have read it i mean what is what is the feedback uh, it's 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 been unbelievable some i mean there's there's some criticism some classmates say the book sucks and uh, (laughs) i just tell them it's so bad people are actually paying me to get rid of it you know what i'm saying but (laughs) the my teachers have given awesome feedback for it my my fellow classmates one of them said i sounded like osho and that was a a very famous uh, indian indian uh a spiritual leader and I was so the uh, it felt extremely Touched good because, by it? yeah because Osho is one of my heroes and okay. a lot of inspiration for the book actually came from him and Emerson as well okay so you're, are you usually like thinking and uh, what are your hobbies first of all do you listen to a lot of music and stuff or oh yes I do, do you read a lot yes I definitely listen to a lot of music I, I read all the time it's, it's reading reading's my favorite thing to do in the world I, I love older music because that that has a real sense of you like older music? Oh yeah, definitely wow. older. Older music definitely has a sense the of the old Hindi songs. Yes, definitely. All those, all the songs have a sense of soul in them. These newer songs, they don't have that sort of sense. It's very, it's all about sex and drugs and all these things. It's, it's very empty to me. So it's the emptiness that you're trying to portray to the current youth, I guess. There is emptiness. There is emptiness, and I'm, I'm trying to. Get, uh, yeah. What I want to teach them is that that that's transform sense. them. I guess. Yeah, transform them. I want to create a revolution of consciousness in our youth. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much, uh, Anand, for coming yeah. here. So, you, is there anything else you'd like to add to? So if so, you, the, the the book and I'm, the book has been an amazing process to me. I mean, it's gotten endorsements from some of the gr- greatest people I know. For example, Narayan Murthy, uh, the founder of Infosys, has written endorsements for it. Marshall Goldsmith, the the one of the most famous executive educators in the world. I mean, there's so many great people that have written endorsements for it, and it's been an amazing process. 
and I would and I would like and I would hope that you can share this book too. You can get it on my website www.honestatheach.com. You can also buy it on Amazon.com. Just search up Emerson for Deal Generation, and it can also be found on iTunes. And how is it selling on Amazon? It sold. It sold on Amazon. Amazon.com. Just uh, just write. Just type in Emerson for Deal Generation, and it'll, the page will be there. Have there been any copies sold? Yeah, I yes. <laughs> yes, there has been probably okay. sold. All right, so thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming here and sharing your uh, your thoughts uh, with our audience and with us. And do come back again with the uh, second book. Thank you, it's been amazing. Sure. And when you finish it, just let us know and we will call you back. Thank you, it's been uh, amazing. Uh,